there it is. So there is where we will be investigating. Hello everyone, this is Jake from Frank Merrill. We are here at the Manor House at the Palatan Resort. We have just concluded our tour of the three floors and the basement, which was used as a morgue. Um, Chris, what are your initial thoughts on the location so far? Uh, very intrigued about the location. Uh, can't wait to get the gear out and uh, start investigating. This is the oldest structure I've ever been in. Uh, Chris, is this the oldest you've ever been in? Not the oldest. It's, it's pretty close to being the oldest. Yeah, but there's so much history that's not just in the building, but in the surrounding area. We're only a few miles from Jamestown. Um, it feels like a very active place. We're actually joined tonight by David Flowers. Let's introduce yourself. Hi, I'm David. I'm the investigator from Virginia Paranormal Occurrence Research. Okay. Um, what are some of the experiences you've had inside the house? Inside the house, I've been touched. I've seen shadows. Plenty of BBPs. So it's safe to say this place is haunted? Yes. Okay. It's haunted, yes. Well, so how about we wrap this up and start investigating? Sounds good. Alright, let's head inside. Alright, hello everyone. We are actually heading down to the basement of the manor house, which was used as a morgue. We are, t I'm taking my laptop because we're going to use our frequencies. This is going to be the very first time we've ever used them on an investigation. So let's see how it goes. David, Chris, are you all ready? We're ready. ready. Alright, let's go. Another thing we have along with the frequencies, we're going to be using the rod of a diode with us. Of course, the rod of a diode is tuned to a specific frequency that is out of the range of human voices and apparently ambient sounds. So us moving around, anything like that, it will not pick up. Also, the frequencies we will be using, it will not be able to pick them up. So I'm going to actually set that. Yeah, we'll set it up. Yeah, Let me set it up in the middle here. I'll be here at the station. Diode is now live. Diode is recording. We have K2 meter. We're going to be running it. Frequencies in the basement of the manor house. Just in case that picks it up, I want to move it. Okay, are you all ready? We're ready. down here with us. What do you think of the frequencies? Do you like using them? So you didn't configure the diode for real time? No, I didn't. There's no way we'd be able to hear it. Chris or David, do you have any questions you'd like to ask? Tommy, are you down here with us? If you are, 
heard. We really like it if you'd let us know. Did you hear something, Chris? No. I thought I did, but I didn't. Did you want to go like that? Chris, you want to go like That's that? what I was just thinking. This I thought it was on the left, but... A little further, a little further. I think you might have to walk in there. Yeah, I see it. Something that is to note about the frequencies is even if we don't hear anything over the speakers, it's pumping energy into the air. So we may be getting something either on the voice recorder or on the rod of a diode that we have set up in the floor. Does anyone have a question they'd like to ask? No, but here, you work the camera for a little bit. Me? All right, I can do that. Are there any soldiers whose bodies were stored down here? time coming through the frequencies bodies were stored down here. As you can see, we have the speakers, the K2 meter, diodes set up along with the voice recorder and of course the main voice recorder is the one I'm holding in my hand. See anything Chris? No, not yet. What about you David? What is this area right here? 
What, which area are you talking about? Excuse me, Jay. Okay. What is that? that it looks like, like a column. Is that part of the wall? Right that is the other the, side. Because. Right here? Yeah. That's why we were looking at. Because as I walked up, I noticed it moving. Yeah. So could it be. That's in the dining room. There's nothing that should be looking like that. So we'll go playback of channel five. We'll go how, how, how far back? Uh, five minutes? Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, there, there's, it's in that dining room. It's a female. <laughs> when I was in the kitchen, mm -hmm. and it literally smelled like are you recording me? Recording yes, I am you? recording you, recording me. That's awesome. Um, it literally smelled like death itself walked up on me. Huh. It was a horrible, horrible smell. Well, you mean like like bad smell? Yeah, like... No, I'm talking about like bad spirits, bad smell. Yeah. St. Albans smell, remember that? Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, it was like that. It was that bad. Well, unfortunately... And do the playback. Mm -hmm. The box is in the way. <sighs> of course it is. Okay. So what we've done now, this is me, Jake. I'm on the second floor by myself. Chris is on the third floor. David is on the first floor. I'm conducting an EVP session. And what we're thinking is that spirits, they seem to be playing a game with us. And so we're wondering if we split up to each of us takes a floor, the spirits will choose one of us to talk to. So I'm actually going to go to this room. We'll see what happens. Set the push quarter here. I have the trail camera one here. All right. Alright, hello, is there anyone here in this room with me right now? Earlier tonight, David saw a figure by the flowers there. And we heard someone knocking in this room. Can you knock? Can you make a knocking sound for me, please? What is the loudest sound you can make right now? Eliza, are you in the room with me? Okay, I'm going to actually move to the other room. Yeah, there's something kind of weird about this room. I don't know what it is. There's something off. It smells weird. Also, I don't know how I feel about that painting. This is a really comfortable chair. All right, hello, is there anyone here with me right now? I actually turned the light just a little more. There we go. Now we can see into that other room. There's someone here. Can you please make a sound? I just now realized no one's going upstairs. What, what did I just hear over here? Who was that?
What the crap? Okay, I think that's actually Chris upstairs. If there's anyone here with me, what is the loudest sound that you can make? Do you like us being here? Who's here in this room with me? Are you scared of us? Okay, unless that was Chris or David, I just heard a female voice. That was in the room across the hall. Who's in here? I just heard a female voice come from this room. And wherever it is, I'd like to talk to them. Yeah. No, but I will say this. I went into this red room here with the red furniture, yeah. and I kid you not, I heard what sounded like someone sit down and start, I guess, getting comfortable on the couch. And just now, when I went walking through here, I heard a female voice plain as day in the dining room over here. I thought I heard someone on these steps. Maybe I just, I could just start to echo of you moving around. I don't know though, because there's a very distinct sound when you're moving on these steps. And then I heard a female voice in here. Maybe the female voice left the kit, the dining room and went upstairs. All right. All right, keep your ears open. There's somebody else up here now? Hey, okay. Whoever's here, what do you think of this fruit? Hey David, yes. can you see the infrared cameras you have set up? Huh? Can you see the infrared cameras? I looked in this room and the infrared was blacked out for about two seconds. Hmm. Which room? Did this first room? Yes, okay. the one over here. I looked over and they were there and then they were blacked out for two seconds like something moved in front of it. Are you hearing anything? Hmm. I think they're all upstairs with y'all. Yeah, Chris heard someone uh, walk up the stairs. He got like a really, he said a putrid smell. And then I heard someone literally sit on the couch and then get like they were moving around getting comfortable on the red furniture in there. Oh, yeah? And then I heard a female voice. And as soon as I went to go see what the female voice was in the dining room, that's when he heard someone go up the stairs. Hmm. Like I said, there's something about y'all, your energy, that has made this place more active tonight than it has been in a long time. I just wish they'd let us know what it is. Because it's killing me. It's like, we're so close, and then they just, they go upstairs. Yeah, or they Jesus. go Right. And I'm not a huge fan of that. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to try this again. Let me know if you see or hear anything. Okay. We know you're here. We can see you. We've heard you. We've felt you. So why do you 
why are you teasing us like this? Why do you want to play this game where you do something and then hide while we chase you? So there's the uh, view of the front outside. So whoever was on this red couch, can you uh, take another seat there? Actually, I have the worst cord out in front of me. If you're in this room with me, can you please move something? You pull out a chair, sit and have a discussion. If there's someone in the dining room, can you please come to the doorway, please? So that I can see you. Yeah. Why, did you hear somebody? No, I saw something. On the camera? Yeah. Oh, that's where I just asked somebody to show themselves in this room. What'd you see? Uh, from, the, from the first, from the game room? Uh-huh. Where, where you said that the, the, the light blacked out? Yeah. I saw through the corridor to where you're standing right now, I saw a, a silhouette right there. Holy crap. All right, I'm in here now. I'll let you know if I get anything. I know you're in here. David just saw you on the camera. We've heard you. Whoever's here, can you please tell us your name? For, for those of you watching this episode, David saw somebody through the IR camera that I saw blacked out, which is there through here. From that camera in there, mm -hmm. I saw it standing right here. And I had... It would have been out of range of me seeing it, but I asked it to show itself. Yeah, but, but when, when you said that, I, I was scanning all the different views, and when I got to the view from the camera in there, mm -hmm. it was right here. Wow. Is there any way you could roll back the footage so we could see it? I can get it. Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let's check that out right now. Yeah, whatever it is, it's in that dining room. Oh. Well, what the heck? What is that? I don't know. Oh man, zoom in. Yeah, there's a form. Yeah, see it right yeah. there. Wow. Okay, so what exactly is that? Okay, that looks like a person. Mm -hmm. 
but they're not moving. Is there any way you could hold the camera so that's focused? I'm gonna go see if that might be something. Because that looks, you know what it looks like to me? What's it that? looks like a woman with long flowing hair. Yeah. Like you can see where it starts to go back. Hey Jake, go, go back in there. Yeah. Go back in in the dining room about two steps and face the face the doorway. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I can see you and it almost looks like there's something in front of you between you and the doorway. Yeah. Dave got something on camera. Cool, really? Yeah. There, I saw something moving here. I asked something, walk in the doorway, and as soon as that happened, he saw something from that camera. He said it was a figure standing right here on the IR camera. And now, the reason I'm up here is because me and him both just saw a person on camera. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Are you still seeing it? I'm not. Not now. Let's go look at it. Oh, Chris, you're gonna love this part. I'm, I've been filming with the rig the entire time. Maybe if you can private message us that and what kind you got. Yeah. Uh, I'm definitely open to taking a look at you know an EM alternative. Yeah, but appreciate um, it. When when you were in there, yeah. When I told you to go back in there, mm -hmm. there was is like a. I'm not gonna say it's a figure, but it's like a mist. Yeah. Between you and and the um, the hutch there. It is so creepy. It's about 3 a.m. There's birds chirping. <laughs> 